any given moment, about 1,800 thunderstorms are in progress somewhere on the globe. New observations by NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope show that thunderstorms make antimatter. The process starts with a terrestrial gamma ray flash, or TGF, an intense pulse of gamma rays originating from thunderstorms. These dots mark TGFs observed by Fermi's gamma ray burst monitor during the spacecraft's first eight months of operations. Researchers estimate that there may be as many as 500 TGFs each day. On December 14, 2009, as Fermi passed over Egypt, it spotted a TGF produced by a thunderstorm in Zambia. The TGF was over the spacecraft's horizon where Fermi couldn't see it. So how could Fermi have detected it? Scientists believe that the TGF process begins in a thunderstorm's intense electrical field. Electrons within this field become accelerated upward. Above the storm, where the air is thin, the electrons can ramp up to speeds nearly as fast as the speed of light. When these ultra-fast electrons encounter an atom, they emit gamma rays. Very rarely, one of these gamma ray photons grazes an atom and transforms into a pair of particles. One, an electron, is normal matter. The other is antimatter, the electron's opposite, called a positron. The gamma rays travel in straight lines, but the charged particles spiral along lines of Earth's magnetic field. And that was the route to Fermi. The particles created by the TGF rode upward on magnetic field lines and then struck the spacecraft. The positrons annihilated when they struck electrons in Fermi, creating a flash of gamma rays. For an instant, Fermi became a gamma ray source and set off its own detectors. A fraction of a second later, some of the particles were bounced back along the same magnetic field line. They again passed through Fermi and again produced gamma rays. The spacecraft has observed this phenomenon on at least four other occasions. So the next time lightning flashes and thunder roars, remember, you may be witnessing antimatter in the making.